on ramp this morning. Interesting to see now because all of these six players, they can only play through to the sixth level, Pass. but they could be yanked Pass. out at any time Pass. with the anchor of the team coming in. Race at 2,000. Pass. I'm all in. Race all in. Look at this, Barney. First hand for Liebert, first hand for Sonnert. Sweden with a chance to only play one hand here. It's a raise on the button from Liebert, immediately all in from Sonnert. He's not hanging about. Well, that's fantastic. If she thought she could put pressure on this short stack, she'll have to think again. What's well, 5,500 more? It's, it's pretty significant. 5,500 more. More. It's more. The race is 5,500. And Sonnet has stamped his mark on, on this straight away. He knows there's no prizes for second place. He knew that Liebert would try and push the short stacks around. And he said, OK, I'll gamble with you if you want to. She can afford it, Barney, but does she want to make a monster of Sweden? No, she does not. I don't think she's going to call this. Even if she knows a play is being made on her, she has been. She's call. called. Call. Sweden. And not is only all in, is Sweden all in, but they're behind. Kathy Liebert will feel Sweden fantastic. That's Queen extraordinary. What a, what a brilliant call. You've got to say, she's winning with King High. They've both got hearts. I mean, I mean, she can't have thought she was in such good shape. I guess she felt she didn't want to leave that many chips behind. And she knew that Sonnet was just making a stand. Look comes three, seven, Sweden eight. on the verge of destruction. They Look could be the well, first Sweden. nation Sweden out of this 888 Poker Nations Cup. It has to be a queen or a 10. That's all that'll help. This is three. Help not coming. A queen or a 10. And USA looking immensely strong. They've done it. Sweden, Sweden is out. Sonnard had one hand, he went all in. What a call Kathy Liebert from the USA made. And that has really changed things here. It certainly has, and they won't be playing back against her too easily. Big chip leader is the USA. Over 35,000. I just decided to push because uh, I, didn't, I don't think she had a strong hand. And, and uh, I didn't have a big, big stack. I need, I need to be a little bit to have a chance to win the whole thing. It's only, it's only money for first prize, and that's what I'm after. She made a marginal call as well. She had, a, he had a very bad hand and called 5,500 more. It's not easy to call with King Four. It's a very weak hand. <laughs> it's been a really bad week. We, we haven't done anything, with it, anything good at all except for the internet qualifier, who, who did a great game, had a great game. I assume it must be about five or six. <laughs> So only five nations left. One of them will be taking that Poker nice. Nations Cup. And right now, USA in pole position. Folded around now to spec nice. from Germany. 600 to call. Ireland on the button. And he's got to beware of the players in the blinds, Race Barney, doesn't 2000. he? Yeah, but he'll carry on playing his game. Nice. Most of the time, King's best hand on the button. But not this time, Jesse. Leave it having a little look. Is she going to stamp her authority now on the Irish team, the way she did so effectively on the Swedes? Pass. It's always a dangerous hand to get involved with, ace five, off suit, out of position. <laughs> Look at those lights, Barney, substitution, and it's Denmark. Well, we did say that we thought he was the least comfortable looking of the players at the table. He hasn't been on that long, but I think it's quite a good substitution here. We are putting, uh, pulling Christian out uh, because he's, he might be a little bit passive in the game. And now we're going to put uh, Theo Jorgensen in. He's uh, slight more aggressive. Here is Theo Jorgensen, and he'll be here till the bitter end. Does he have enough chips to work with, Barney? Yes, he does, and this is a very, very good choice. It means we won't be seeing the excellent Jan Sorensen, but you can't argue with Theo Jorgensen. He steps straight into the ejector seat, <laughs> occupied very briefly by Ben Sonnet, who came in, sat down in the big blind, went straight Pass. out. Jorgensen would like to last at least one hand more than that. Folded around to Kathy Liebert. She has been the executioner. Race of 3,300. Uh, she's giving <laughs> Theo Jorgensen the same chance that Ben Sonnet had. The same treatment. 
attacking the short stack to her left. We saw her do this so effectively <laughs> in her heats. And Jorgensen's going to give this serious consideration. He does have a decision. King could look very good to him. He saw what she did to Ben Sonnet. He knows she won't back off. They're very close to that line. If they go beyond that felt, it's a call. It looks like he's thinking about it. He's doing it! <laughs> She's calling quickly, and this is absolutely extraordinary. He may not be able to beat Pence on its record, but he could equal it here. Exactly the same situation. Once again, she's called with just enough to be dominating his hand. Denmark all in. Up comes Queen. And it's not looking good. Only a king or Scandinavia is out of this tournament. A king. Jurgensen. On the edge, and it's over. USA has just not two. There's only four players left in this Poker Nations Cup. Amazing, Barney. See you guys later. I'm speechless, Jesse. And we said it was the ejector seat, and so it proved to be. Of course, I'm a little disappointed, okay? But uh, we were short stacked and had to make a move, and uh, I decided there in the big blind that I wasn't going to be blinded away and made a move with King three suited. And the block for the USA set the table. Kathy Liebert is clearing the dishes, breaking them against the wall. We're four-handed now. And what to come, Barney? Well, I think some of the uh, the captains we haven't seen yet are going to be starting to wonder whether they should put themselves in or else they're going to miss the action, Jesse. Parkinson under the gun. There's only one big blind this hand because Theo Jurgensen from Denmark last got last eliminated time. the very last hand. And, uh, is Speck thinking to himself, if I don't get a move on, I'm going to go the way of my compatriots? Well, he's probably thinking, if I do anything silly, I'm going to go the way of the last two. <laughs> he's not the kind of guy to make it three in a row with this sort of hand. This is going in the bin. He's just having a oh. look. He wants to try and take it away on the flop. Well, at least he's uh, given himself a chance to get away. Two this pot is pretty big, Check. considering Check. Spech's stack. 1300. And uh, he's going to have to make a very awesome move if he wants to win this pot. I don't think he can win it. Uh, I mean, Parkinson has flopped a pair here. Pass. So speculative there for the German, but uh, it's pretty desperate. Germany down to 8,000 in chips right now. The 888 Poker Nations Cup final table. There's a lot of play left in this still, Barney. Blinds three and 600, it seems big, but there's three stacks who have nothing to worry about. That's right, it's only spec for Germany who's on a little bit of pressure, of and leave it the one applying most of that pressure. Under the gun raise, it's a real hand for Kathy Liebert. She can stand just about anything there. Respect, considering making a stand, it wouldn't be in too bad shape against her hand if he did. Is it the right time to gamble? He does have two players behind him. Could wake up with something big. That'll be going through his mind. He knows he doesn't have too long, and yes, he's made the all-in move. Well, better late than never. It's now or never, says Specht, and there's no way Liebert's folding. Oh, no, he will get called. But she hasn't been losing any races, Jesse. I mean, she's had an edge before. She's still got a slight edge this time. And if she wins this, she'll have well over half the chips in play, and they'll be down to three. USA just having a ponder, but Barney, there's really... 7,700? There's really no way she can fold, is there? No, she's got the biggest hand she's had. She knows that Speck's more likely to have a genuine hand than the two players she just dispatched. But she's got a bigger Germany, hand herself. In, she's hoping for what USA. exactly she's going to see, which is Germany an even gamble. Jack. She's quite happy with that. It is a straight sevens. race, and 18,000 in the pot. This could put Germany right back in it. But Speck could be out of it. He needs a king or jack. We expect quite happy eight, to get five, this kind of three. chance to get back he's into the game, but he's going to need his help very, very soon. 
and won't be happy now. Project. The flop has put Liebert well ahead. Six cards Eight in the deck. The That's not one of them. Barney, it's looking over for Germany. Is the they caught it! Germany, Germany with the never save die hits on the river. And he looks as if he knew it was coming all the time. <laughs> he was never ruffled, never taunted. And that has changed the complexion of this game completely, Jesse. Sevens is usually my lucky hand, too. Third time unlucky in the races for Kathy Lieber from the USA. She's still the comfortable chip leader, but this dimension has opened the game up four-handed, Barney. Yeah, really, any of these four nations now could take this away. And I expect Speck to play with a new freedom. He hasn't been in this position all the way through the tournament. Speck, of course, Germany's savior. He came through to get much needed points for Germany by beating Rene Pedersen from Denmark. And look at this. Yes, he hasn't wasted any time in using those chips. He's free rolling, Jesse. And this is the new freedom I was just talking about. Kathy Lieber looking at the A6, making up her mind. Does she know that he's opened up? Well, we've seen her make this kind of pass time and again. Now she's facing a very different situation, a deep stack. But she wants to have a look. I guess she feels that if she hit the ace, it would be good. And really, she is absolutely dominating his hand. He's got position. And uh, this is a good flop for Spect. Well, he's got a big draw here. Yeah, she's just trying to take it away, hoping uh, he's missed. I mean, a lot of players would move from his position now. He's got the straight draw. Spec could make it 16,000. Does he want to, Barney? Is calling an option? Well, he's free rolling with his chips. I think he might move in, Jesse. I mean, a lot of players would. He's got a draw here. You know what Vaswani would do in this spot. Well, I, he would have already done it, Jesse. But, I mean, um, he's certainly not putting it down. He's got the straight draw. You know, she can't possibly read him for this. There's a lot of chips in there for him to take. Pass. No King Jack what a there. fascinating play by oh. Kathy Liebert of the USA. A pot she could easily not have yeah. won. She yeah. found a way to take it and has put Germany back on the back foot. She's indomitable. Welcome back to the 888 Poker Nations Cup final table. Four teams remaining. It's Kathy Liebert under the gun. And she's found a real hand. Uh, she's been doing so much raising. Raised to 2,100. There's absolutely no reason why they should put her on a hand like this. He's the only player on this table who's the least likely to play back with this kind of hand. But they have all seen the kind of hands that Liebert's been raising with. 
He's just going to take a flop. He's announced call. Looking Pass. for the ace. Pass. Quick fold by the other two players. And Barney, it almost seems like Speck just feels like he's in a big hurry. Two players. Well, he doesn't want to get, get in too deep, but he wants to be there on flops. But he's not doing anything very imaginative on the flops, and I think she'll take 4, this 000. away. Liebert has to beware of the king. Speck, though, in terrible trouble here. And... Uh, that 4,000 bet means Speck could raise it about nine. Well, he has absolutely missed. He doesn't know where he is here. If he's hoping his ace with no kicker is good, then uh, that's a very vain hope indeed. Roland Speck for Germany has given himself lots of tough decisions lately, and he's being out funk and out swapped by the USA's Liebert. Blind on blind in the two chip leaders now, and Vaswani, the psychological edge on Liebert, Barney. Yes, he does, and not just the psychological edge. She was complaining that every time she came up against him, he always seemed to have a hand. Check. Oh, she's gotten away from one trap here. He's just limped. She said, see the flop. No one likes to get in too deep against West One. She has hit some of this. But he's fairly confident he's in front. And by betting see, out, see. he might induce her to play back with middle pair. Certainly she's going to have a look, Jesse. Raise another 1,300. Well, this is working out perfectly for Ram. Barney, the stacks are so deep that there's no all-in play from here, is there? Well, I don't know. I expect a re-raise. Well, he's disguising his hand very well. I mean, it's, it's a dangerous-looking flop, unraised, of course. That's changed nothing. Check. But does Vaswani know where he's at? Ace is a big hand, but it's a dangerous board. Yeah, well, I mean, I think that uh, it's going to be very hard for her to carry on. Once Ram called, I mean, uh, they both, they're both a little scared of what's going on here. And uh, she's thinking, well, if he had a flush draw, <laughs> he's outdrawn me now. It's hard for her to see how she can be winning here. Ram putting a stop a bet in. 1,200. And uh, she might make a call. Yes, yeah, she might make a call. It's so cheap, just in case her oh. pair's good. And I think that's worked out quite nicely for Ram. Neither of them wants to get in too deep. Pair of aces. <laughs> you put the river to bet it. Straight got there. The flush got there, and you bet it. Are oh, you trying to get that? Mean, you don't want me to make a big bet. Nice Tough being a guy in this game. You get all the action you can handle. Nice hand. <laughs> well, don't do scared. Wow. The eight, eight, eight Poker Nations Cup final table. Pass. <laughs> Fourth level Pass. here, and uh, Kathy Lieber with an opportunity to bully Germany around. Race to 2,300. And she's got the cards to do it. Oh, Roland's giving a heavy look. <laughs> Boy, <laughs> poor Roland's back. Is he going to commit the same mistake that these two predecessors have done? I mean, I, I don't know. He, he, he seems less likely to make this kind of play than any other player at the table, Jesse. He knows what happened to those who went before him. Kathy Liebert using her chips like a machete. He does have a few more than they did. It'll be a li little bit harder for her to call a re-raise for, for the about 13,000 or so that he's got. But uh, he, he doesn't normally play this kind of hand, but he has been having a look lately. It just seems like, it seems like Speck's got somewhere to go, or he just thinks he's being robbed continuously, Barney. Well, he knows he's got to play his way back into the game, you know, and he knows that Lieber can't have a hand every time. But, you know, Jesse, I don't like this. He keeps oh. just having a look. He can't afford it, Jesse. Very experienced tournament player, but in this four-way lineup, he may be the least experienced. Of course, he does have position, and that has influenced him here. 
and uh, Lee Brooks has been following through well on these. It's not easy though. It's not easy to bet out of position when you've completely missed. Just having a good long look at Roland. Check. Ten would make his hand. A bet might win the pot. <laughs> he doesn't know if he's being trapped, or does he know where he is? He goes against his cautious <laughs> instincts. Well, Three this is good, strong hundred. play. He's finally made a play at a flop when he's missed. This is the reason why you call with his kind of hands in position. Up to now, he's been calling and then letting them go. But she's going to have to respect this, I think, Jesse. If she understands what's going on here, if she reads his hesitation and plays back, then this will be one of the most powerful plays we've seen in this whole tournament. Kathy Leeward has taken a whole stack of yellows. She's flittering with them. She's watching Roland's reaction. He's giving nothing. He's taking the pot. And psychologically, Barney, Germany, that's the biggest thing that's happened to them. He has finally taken a pot off the USA. This time Michael Kiner could have pulled his man at any time, but he stuck with him, and won't Germany be feeling good now? A couple of players waiting on the Irish bench. Who is it going to be? Rory Liffey, Don Fagan, Noel Furlong, and uh, Devil Fish for Great Britain, and Robert Williamson. You can make Pass. a case for every single one of those Irish players, Jesse. Pass. I guess Don Fagan uh, has put in the best performance in the heats out of the remaining Irish players. Call. Well, Hela Roach won one, but uh, I think that, that would be a lot of pressure to put on an internet qualifier. Uh, Specht has just limped in here, Barney, with the uh, ace in the small blind. Yeah, most of the other players have been raising out the small blind with this kind of hand, but it's nicely disguised, and that ace... Well, Bet Parkinson has got the flush draw here, Jesse. Call. And that's why he's calling. Yeah, it's quite a nice card for a specht on the turn, as long as the heart doesn't hit the river. And it hasn't. Well, if Speck was to check this one, I wonder if Parkinson would try and take it away. Bet 2,500. He's gone for the bet. Could Parkinson try and steal this with a big raise? Well, it's like a half the pot size bet. Well, it could be a please call me bet. Just as easy as it could be a steal. And uh, I think Parkinson could probably get this up, yeah. Pass. He has done. Roland Specht happy to make some money there. Germany moving up. Is that your natural hair color or is it dyed? That's where we'll <laughs> leave it for now. Let's see how the situation stands. Well, with the Scandinavians going down fighting, it's a strong play from the USA. Great poker from Great Britain and Ireland as well. And Germany fighting their way right back into it. It's all to play for, Jesse. Should be a fascinating finish. Join us next time for the conclusion of this final table. From Barney Boatman and myself, we'll see you as the team steam on.